Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're actually gonna talk about Marvel Comics again. Uh, because there isn't really any good news. I say never for good reasons. Uh, there isn't any good news about Marvel Comics, so we're going to talk about some Marvel Comics drama that erupted in the last day or two. An artist at Marvel Comics, Joe Bennett, is being canceled because he put some some imagery in a comic that people said is is racist. Uh, somehow it slipped through the editorial fingers. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. How uh, did it get past editorial? Unless unless they're not doing their jobs, like many people claimed. They're probably on Twitter all day, not mm -hmm. doing their Canceling jobs. Canceling other people. Canceling other right, people. Right. Oh, the irony. Do you lose points if you bought this comic? In their Marvel, you get points for the going uh, interacting with different things. Yeah, if you yeah, bought yeah. this comic that turns out to be canceled because there's there's some questionable things in it, does that mean that you get you get points subtracted? I don't from know. Your interaction. That'd be kind of funny. You but bought you a racist comic. But if you Luke. join the cancel mob calling it out, you get extra bonus points. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Maybe if you call it out on Twitter. So we're gonna talk about this. This is a mortal hulk. Number 43, uh, the penciler we're talking about is Joe Bennett. And uh, apparently, apparently what happened was he slipped in some uh, anti-Semitic imagery. People were claiming he says that's not what happened. And somehow, somehow this made it through editorial at Marvel, including the fingers, uh, the fingers of Tom Brevoort. Um, because apparently he's an editor uh, on this. And Tom Brevoort, oh, who spends... Yep, spends a lot of time, I think, on social media. Uh, should have probably been editing his books and catching things like this. It's amazing how people don't catch it until after mm -hmm. after the fact, and then they blame the artist. Right. Uh, oh, and then, of course, you know, automatically they should be fired forever. Yeah. Um, then everybody on this book should have been fired forever because nobody caught it. Nobody caught this. How did this happen? Twitter wants to know. Uh, so we're going to talk about it. So before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we're over 174,000 subs. Almost at 175. I think we're like 100 away. We keep getting away. so close, but we never cross it. Anyway. Ah, we can never we can never go over. We get to the top of the mountain, and then we can't push our way over. Um. So yeah, uh, Joe Bennett draws Incredible Hulk. Or I'm sorry, what are they calling this one? Immortal Hulk. Uh, issue 43 came out, and people were like, oh my God, look at this. So what is the problem? The problem is we've got Star of David. This is a jewelry shop, mm -hmm. but but he spelled it jewelry with yeah, a Star of David. <laughs> and uh, I know it caught this. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's also supposed to be Cronenberg's, which for director David uh, Cronenberg, who did The Fly, by the way, The Fly was probably one of the only movies that's ever freaked me out. My I've never life. seen it, and I will not. It's very it. very gross. Maggot babies. That's no, thank you. Okay, I'm good. I'm okay, I don't need to hear anymore. So this is uh, this made the rounds. Of course, you know Twitter is angry. We're going to go out to Twitter here, but uh, Bling Cool had it and said that Joe Bennett is apologizing for his uh, anti-Semitic error. Um, so jewelry store feature in the comic is named after David Cronenberg, the horror movie director known for the kind of body horror that the Immortal Hulk has embraced. Uh, but instead of the window sign reading jewelry, it reads jewelry. Instead, is it's placed above a Star of David. While in the foreground, Joe Fixit, Bruce Banner, and the store employee are talking about money. This has been seen as an anti-Semitic trope because only only Jewish people spend money. Only Jewish people use money. I, I, I was trying to figure out what yeah. the, the trope is. I mean, I think it's an unfortunate loss of a letter. Yeah. Right it's, above, right above a, a, a Jewish symbol. Yeah, that is incredibly unfortunate. Uh, we're going to read his apology, and then we're going to talk about how the hell... How the hell Marvel let this uh, slip through? This has been seen as anti-Semitic uh, or a slur by many people who have used social media to call for action or an apology. When approached by bleeding cool artist Joe Bennett told us, I've been including references to famous horror directors to pay respects to the genre throughout the series. And in Immortal Hulk 43, I included a nod to David Cronenberg. The misspellings on the window were an honest but terrible mistake. Since I was writing backwards, I accidentally spelled both of those Words wrong. Wait, you spelled both the words wrong? Cronenberg's name too is Cronenberg. Cronenberg. Cronenberg instead of Cronenberg. Uh, I have no excuse for how I depicted the Star of David. I failed to understand this troubling and offensive stereotype. And after listening to you all, I now understand my mistake. This was wrong, offensive, and hurtful. <sighs> This is a mistake I must own, and I am sorry to everyone who I hurt by this. I'm working with Marvel to correct it, and I'm using this lesson to reflect on how I approach my story. Doesn't matter. You're canceled You're already. Done. You're done forever. Even though you didn't, even if it was legitimately a mistake, doesn't matter. 
Um, because don't you know, this is a problem with Twitter. This is what Hollywood and comic companies and toy companies and all these people need to understand. You could have the most benign thing ever on there, but there are people that literally spend their whole day going over everything, trying to find something to be pissed about. And it could be something that's completely stupid, but they'll say they're triggered by it and demand your cancellation. It doesn't matter even if you intended it. Doesn't matter if it's something anybody uh, and the other 99.999% of the world even cares about because that 0.0000001%, which is probably like literally two people on Twitter, found it and got pissed about it and then started yelling it about, screaming about it and hashtagging the hell out of it. You are now canceled forever. Even though this one was a little bit um, more than an oops, I think. But you know. Yeah, we're going to talk. We're going to talk about that. Then everybody like, needs to be canceled who who, who saw this. Because uh, this has been going on a lot in comics in recent years. Um, some of it completely benign, some of it uh, not so benign. There have been political statements kind of snuck into the artwork. Yeah, um, but it's okay when they're making, when they're putting, like, you know. The right statements. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, didn't they have, like, some things that they were, like, basically implying someone being killed that was somebody they disagreed with um, on Twitter? Yeah, we're, oh, and, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that was okay. That was okay. So, Marvel Comics, by the way, uh, a lot of people working at Marvel Comics do not like comic book YouTubers who review their comics negatively. One of them um, as I recall, is Doug Ernst, who uh, I've talked to Doug Ernst before. Uh, he's a, a political uh, journalist working for Washington, something examiner. I think the examiner. And uh, he had a beef with, I think it was Max Bemis, a Marvel writer, and they put a Nazi character in the comic in it and named it. Uh, or named it Ernst. So yeah. So I'm like, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Dipsy. It's okay when they <laughs> actually they actually put stuff in the artwork to attack real people. Yeah. That's okay. But because someone forgot a letter yeah. on a window because it's written backwards. Oh my God! They literally need to never work in comics again. So um. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of like, okay, that's that's fun. But then I'm like, Star David too. I know. I I do think I, I have to admit. But I'm just saying. My yeah. point is. You know that that you know they should be canceled forever, but they can these other artists can go out and literally put like you know things in there that are attacking people directly, and that's okay. This comic is gonna sell a lot of copies. You know that, right? Because they're already talking that the future printings they're gonna change the. Yeah, artwork. you know that's do they do it on purpose to sell copies? <laughs> like, oh my God, people aren't using our coupon clipping mommy blog and point system. Quick, uh, throw in some racist stuff, and it's a limited it's edition. Ups, accidental. Limited edition racist Marvel comic. And we uh, suddenly sold like you know way more than we ever sold in the last like ten years. <laughs> oh my God, that's the highest selling comic of 2021. Here we go. Um, so this is what I want to know: the errors in wording. Were also overseen by Marvel. Yes. And I understand that internally, Marvel is acknowledging their editorial failure regarding this. The artwork will, as you might expect, be corrected for the digital version. So who was uh, involved? These were the editors. Right, because it should have ever gone out to print that way. Tom Brevoort, uh, Will Moss, and Sarah Brunstad. So our... Because there's been a lot of complaints. People are looking at Marvel Comics now, and they're like, these comics are barely edited anymore. Because mm -hmm. I remember, now I didn't work for Marvel Comics, but when I was a kid and I went to Marvel Comics, I remember the editors pouring over every damn page that came in, looking for typos, looking for even like wonky facial expressions and stuff like that. And now they're kind of like, yep, yep, good print, boom. It's like, yep, yep, wait, I got to go finish all these tweets on Twitter, yelling and screaming about people so I can get more likes. And then I'll double check it. Oh, it looks okay. Just send it off. Yeah. I, I, I'm in a Twitter battle right now. I can't stop to edit my, do my job. Damn it. Honest to God, I think that's probably what's going on. I think, uh, you know, look at, um, you know, people talking about a lot of the, uh, the phoned in storylines are like, this person only writes like a book or two a month. How are they, and this is their full-time job. How are they just phoning in this work? And then you look at their social media presence and they're like tweeting 3000 times a day. Right. You know, they're getting in Twitter battles. They're in, in chat rooms and trying to conspire to get people canceled. Meanwhile, they're letting something like this slip through, you know? Yeah. And, and that's a big slip through. That's a big slip. But this isn't the first time this has happened at, at Marvel. Um, actually, Bling Cool brings up, well, I didn't even know about this one. Wolverine uh, let one slip. Uh, a, a slur instead of the word killer. Um, X-Men Gold, I do remember this one. Uh, there was an artist who slipped a uh, uh, a date in there. I think it was uh, uh, 212, I think. But 
Um, yeah, 212. It actually is the area code for New York, but in this case, it was actually a, a reference to um, political stuff going on. And uh, John Malin, who's a, a Comics Gate guy, he got canceled for putting Shell Beach, I guess, in, in uh, an issue of Thunderbolts. And Shell Beach is from Dark City, but that a lot of people like Dark City. They said this is an alt-right message. Right, because some people decided that, that it was going to be alt-right whether or not the rest of the world decided that was yet to be seen. But because some group of people decided that's what it meant because they decided that, um, you're in trouble. Yeah, apparently apparently the, the alt-right, I guess, likes uh, Dark City. I like so do a lot of people. I like Dark City, except for the uh, theatrical cut. They ruin the whole damn thing with a monologue in the beginning. It's like Blade Runner. They basically tell you everything is going on, so there's no mystery. I'm like, oh, okay. But I'm just like, you know, because some people <laughs> decided on Twitter that it meant alt-right. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that, That's what it means now, even though uh, most people, there's a lot of people in the world who aren't even on Twitter who wouldn't know that. There's people make on, that honestly don't know that they're just supposed to mean certain things. Um, what was the one they were talking about? Um, oh, was Electric Boogaloo got that girl in trouble? Oh my god! That? Yeah, they were. She was making a. It was. Uh, I think it was Purity Sin who has a YouTube channel, and I think it was her. And she got she got in trouble because she called something Electric Boogaloo because you know break into Electric Boogaloo. Yes. Well, because there was a group out there called the Boogaloo's or whatever, which I didn't even know. I didn't even know because most people don't know. That's like such a fringe thing, but it was it was a banned term. I get. I think it was on Teespring, and it was a banned term because there's this group out there. So like a lot of times, like people are just kind of like doing their thing. I like a movie or whatever. It's like, oh my god, you must be you must be uh, all right. Like look at the Matrix. You know, you talk about the Matrix. Oh, you must be all right because of red pilling. Mm. I, I, no, you know, it'll be funny. Um, the word hello is problematic now, guys, because I hear a lot of people that are alt right. You say hello to each other. They do. Oh my god! You don't you're not allowed to use the word hello ever again? Oh god! And if you don't know, there's no excuse. Ignorance is no excuse. You need to before you do anything and use any word ever in anything you do. You need to go make sure there's no problems with each word, just to make sure. That's your due diligence. Okay. Yeah, so here's here's what Twitter is saying, if anybody cares. Uh, the takeaway from what Joe Bennett slipped into the background of Immortal Hulk shouldn't be, guess Marvel isn't progressive after all, burn. It should be, who let who let Joe Bennett get away with it? And what consequences should Bennett and the editor face? Tom what, Rebar. you know, I mean, I do I do I think it was accidental? It's, it's oddly, mm. there's more than one thing. So it is kind of like, mm. But the flip side is, if it was... You know, yeah. that, then what? Yeah, um, Indonesian artist on top of printing the dialogue back. Okay, this was another guy. That was uh, Sayaf, I guess, was fired off of X-Men. Um, this is Joe Bennett. Now, I don't know where Joe Bennett is from, but here we go. Here we have SJW Bullshit Matador. Mm -hmm. uh, Ethan Van Skyver. What is he saying? Uh, Marvel had to apologize for this. I'm dying. Poor Joe Bennett. English is probably his third language, and he's drawing letters backwards. Is it? Is he? Where's he well, from? That's what they're saying. He's not that. That you know, he it might not have been intentional because he's just trying his best. I don't know. Uh, hold on, we have to cancel Joe Bennett for misspelling a word. Right. Uh, it was a very weak response from Joe Bennett. And Marvel. I want to hear from the editors that thought the star of David. Yeah. Why that's did you do that? What? I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, I, it's personal opinion. I'm like, that's kind of, uh, kind of, kind of an odd thing to put yeah, on a jewelry store. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit weird to put on a jewelry store too. Window. I'd say Joe Bennett should just take the L on this, but that's what's got him in trouble in the first place. Uh, I'm willing to believe the misspelling was a mistake since he's owning up to the star, but man, remember the saber tooth lettering thing. So apparently there's something going on there, but yeah, I mean, it's. But then, the, the, he has had problems. The, there's other things that have happened in the past. Okay. Why were the editors not watching this? That is the question I have. Part of me is like, look, there are some crazy, crazy things that they slip into comic books and cartoon shows because a lot of times the people working on these, now I'm not saying this is the case here. A lot of times the people working on these things are like, nobody is paying any effing attention to what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I do remember a story from Marvel uh, in regards to Transformers. I guess they'd actually give, because they had to run all the scripts through Hasbro. They gave Hasbro a script where they literally killed every character in Transformers. And Hasbro was like, yeah, it's good. And they're like, they're not even reading it. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. not even reading it. So part of me is like, would they put this in there just to be like, let's see if the editors are actually editing or not. Because a lot of people have been complaining. The Marvel books in particular are just like, 
Looks good. It would and, you know, sell. Good print. Boom. Done. And honestly, probably it wasn't. People were looking at it. weren't even like wasn't even registering them. They weren't really caring. But someone is literally pouring over a book at every panel to find something to be pissed about. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what happened because most people wouldn't even have noticed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so people who don't even buy the book are having hissy fits. That's the thing. There, there are a lot of times there's more controversy about an issue that most people wouldn't have like, I haven't picked up a Marvel book in 15 years, but by God, I'm pissed and I'm going to boycott Marvel. Yeah, I'm, I'm never buying any Marvel books. Have you ever bought any? No, but I'm not buying them in the future either. <laughs> I'm not even going to torrent your books anymore, Marvel. I know. How I'm dare not, you? I'm not going to be part of your fan club and go give you, go, go boost your videos and everything for points. Oh, I'll just God. go buy my damn t-shirt at Walmart like everybody else. Yeah, so this is, um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I am wondering, though, if this is going to lead to maybe Marvel paying some fucking attention to what's going on in their no, books. No, it's going to be they're going to hire more sensitivity readers. More sensitivity readers. No, I'm, you think I'm kidding. That's what I know do. you're not kidding. That's not the solution. Having editors that give a shit and do their jobs instead of sitting the on Twitter all day. For. But that, to be fair, those editors are paid jack shit, so they're probably, that's probably like their fourth job of the day. And by the time they got around to it, after working at the coffee shop and everything else Uber, they did, yeah. yeah, they were probably tired. That's true. And it was cutting into their, tw their tweet time. It's, yeah, we don't want to cut into anybody's tweet time because that's a right. You have a right to tweet. But these people aren't paid enough to care. That I'm going to be completely honest. No, you're right. They're not paid enough to care. There was an article out there talking about uh, it was a Marvel or DC editor, and he was making like $32,000 a year mm -hmm. in Manhattan. You get what you pay for. Yeah, pretty much. All right. So we got to wrap this one up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.